Operations Center and My Operations App Overview. Hello, my name is Jess. I'm a precision farming specialist with Midwest Machinery, serving the St. Cloud, Sauk Center, and Painesville locations. I previously served Glencoe, Stewart, and Howard Lake locations. I've been with Midwest Machinery since 2012. Operation Center website. On the maps layer, we see a field with active boundaries, and those boundaries are color coded to the last operation. There's a color code legend on the bottom left corner of the screen. There's a field icon on the left side of the screen. This will show a list of all the fields along with the color coded boundary. We click on either the field or on the left side of the map, a box will appear over the field with some general details about that field. If we go to the tools icon on the upper left of the screen and click on field analyzer, we will be able to see the map layers for that field. In the field analyzer, we can see an overview with agronomic data. We can change the layer. We can compare. There's also a difference map. We can converse as a single field or single season operation. On the left hand side, there's a yellow field analyzer beta button or we can go to tools and go to field analyzer beta. In field analyzer beta, we have an overview, a compare, There's also an overlay. We can slide the occupancy glider to increase or decrease the color code. And there's also a difference map. In the beta version, we can also edit the legend. We can set the zones to how many color-coded zones we want. We can also save a legend template. There's also a selector tool on top. This can be used to pick out a specific area of the field. In the agronomic data, we'll have selected and full 
operation. In the field data analyzer beta, we can also overlay our flags. Flags is tile lines, tile intakes on top of a operation map. We can also filter our flags by category and type. In the tools, we can go to Analyze. Analyze is a reporting tool. It gives us the ability to run field reports. A detailed PDF export will show additional product or variety information for each work event. The summary report will be a PDF export of what you see as it appears in Analyze. Analyze can be used to answer agronomic questions such as planting information, planting dates, crop types, varieties, acres covered. In application settings, Analyze can be used to view how much of each product was applied in total or on a field level. It'll give the grower a better understanding of how much product will be needed for the following year. Harvest reports can identify top performing brands and varieties by sorting columns for field, for yield, moisture, harvest date, wet mass, and total harvested area. Fields can also be sorted by yield and moisture, date, area, total harvested, wet mass, and speed to see which fields are most successful. We can also run tillage reports, we can show acres tilled, average depth, average pressure, and till date. Filters can be applied to define spring tillage versus fall tillage, helping growers map out timeframes for field preparation. There's a prescription creator tool by Agrigan Aggregan is a free API tool that can be used to create prescriptions for tillage uh, when utilizing true set planting and applications such as spraying and fertilizer. The prescription that is created is a shapefile format, which is a generic format that most brands of displays slash controllers can read. So the prescription can be utilized with more than just one brand. While we wait for the prescription creator tool to load, I'm gonna jump over to the land manager. I will come back and create a prescription. The land manager is used to edit and create the client farm field list, lines, boundaries, and play. We can edit the names and view details of guidance lines. We can also create straight track guidance lines. Flags can also be easily created, edited, and deleted for points, lines, and area flags. We can look at the headings of different guidance lines when trying to compare or figure out what guidance line to use.
When viewing flags, we can see the length of the lines, the date modified, and the source was created, such as a hand-drawn flag versus a flag created by a display. Now that the prescription creator tool has loaded, I will walk through creating a prescription. First, we need to select our organization client farm field, uh, which we want to create a prescription for. A field boundary will default to the active boundary, but we can choose a different boundary, like an irrigated boundary. Next, we choose our prescription source, average yield, field operation, free form zone, or soil survey. When average yield is selected, we need to choose the crop and years we want to include in the averaging. Then we so select what layer, harvest speed, yield, moisture, elevation, et cetera. Once we have that defined, we hit the next button in the bottom right corner. We can define the number of zones and adjust the map to give the best representation of the description we're creating. A variety needs to be selected and rates can be entered in for each zone. Then we can click save. On the upper right hand corner, we can manually edit zones this is used if we want to create a plot or a test zone within prescription. The options for a box, circle, or split zone, or split the field in half. We can merge zones together. When we have a map be adjusted to our liking, we can click save. The prescription will be generated and dumped into the file manager where we can send directly to our compatible equipment with wireless data transfer or download to a flash drive to manually in import into a display or to a third party display. Third party displays can also be uploaded to the op center if a customer has a mixed fleet, so a yield map from a red combine can be uploaded. The My Operations app From the app, you can zoom in and out. You can also see the fields with an active boundary and they are also color coded. You can slide the screen up to see info about the operation. Next, view, parse, and analyze. We will see things like varieties harvested in that field, average yield, average moisture, totals for each of the varieties and for the entire field. We can switch the field that we're viewing in Analyze also without jumping back to the map page. We can compare all the fields for a specific crop season. Much of this is what we'll see on the My Operations website. We can view things like different layers, seeding, harvest, application. The map settings, we can change the map view to 
equipment, field boundary, and flags. We can also switch what field we're in. We can edit flags from the My Operations app. We can also add photos, notes. We can also delete a flag from the app. You can see the varieties, the average and the total yield for each of those varieties harvested in that field. Percent complete. We can also export a PDF um, and send that via text or email or save to our device. The PDF is going to be a report style map with agronomic information tied to it. There's also a, a legend slide out on the right hand side of the app. There's also a progress bar, so we can see what each field has done so far. This only works with wireless data transfer as the fields have been uploaded automatically. The data that we see in the app comes from the operation center website. And also view the flags as an overlay map. I will show you what the report will look like. If you have questions on either the website or the app, feel free to call the Midwest Machinery Precision Support Line at 320-314-4433. And one of our precision farming specialists can help you with any questions that you may have. Here's an example of the report that it prints out. There's icons on the bottom of the screen, the home, the map, and the analyze. Those are shortcut icons that get you directly to a specific area and then you can filter by field. One thing to note, in the My Operations app, it does give the grower the ability to bulk post cal for both yield and area. Not show that on this video. But if you have questions on that, feel free to call the support line and we can walk you through that. Thank you.